Breaking news. Praise the Lord. I'm Theophilus McPherson. I am your host today, and I'm going to be dealing with breaking news of artists or pastors that's making merchandise of us. That means a person come out and say that Jesus Christ is a A person might come out and say that there are many ways to God, even though Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So my assignment today to tell you that Jesus Christ is the only way. Breaking news that Jesus Christ come to come. He come to give us life and give us life more abundantly. Jesus Christ come that we may escape hell and the lake of fire. Jesus Christ come that we may have peace with God. Amen. Amen. So uh, uh, Romans the 16th chapter verse number 17 and 18 and I'm so glad to see many of those followers that are following uh, Not me, but following the Jesus that's in me. Hey glory to God and it's amazing as society You people are following every wind and of doctrine, but not following the truth and the Bible said the truth shall make you free How many people out there that are true? That are, that, that, are, that, that are following the truth because the truth will make you free not set but make guaranteed concrete make you free so we see that father god in the name of jesus christ for god as his people have, have are ready to view oh god the word of god or oh, bless their heart lord bonnet with hindrance bonnet with phone call bonnet with every, every, every distraction from hearing forth the word of God. Bless those hearers right now. Hear forth the word of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Welcome to Revelation of Alpha and Omega Ministry. I'm your host, Theophilus McPherson, as your prophet, as your moderator, and as the person that's going to bring forth the word of God to you today. And I'm coming from Romans, the 16th chapter, verse number 17 and 18, and it reads, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause division, an offense contrary to the doctrine which we have learned and avoid them for they that are such serve not the Lord Jesus Christ but their own belly and by word and fierce speeches deceive the heart of the simple amen glory to God and, and in our society especially in the churches we have orators Hey, glory to God. We have those that went through school and there are doctors of divinity, which is nothing's wrong with that. But Paul said that I didn't come in excellency of speech, but I come in demonstration of the word of God. So we see that that how how do they how do they how do we know they serve not the Lord Jesus Christ? Hey, glory to God. Number one thing is their lifestyle. They live that shabby, shamble lifestyle. That's how your you know your past. I know your pastor is human, and people have used that excuse by saying he's human, so he's gonna sin. So you're telling me that that a Bible is 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 wrong? Would we'll say that if you are sin, if you are in the world, you cannot sin. Hey, glory to God! If the Word of God is in you, we have a conscience. Amen. We have Romans chapter nine verses one. He said, "My, I, my conscience bear witness with the Holy Ghost." So, so number one, you know them by their lifestyle. Amen. Glory to God. Number two, their behavior of becoming saint or leaders. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Their, their, their behavior of not becoming saints is how number one is how you dress. Hey, glory. Yes, yes. Christian have no business wearing tight clothes. Christian ho have no business uh, showing their crutches and and showing their breasts and and showing their body parts. Hey, glory. We know we know you have that, but the world don't need to see what you have. Leave it for your husband or leave it for your wife. And if you are not married, leave that for the person to expect when they get married they will gonna have and enjoy that. Hey, glory to God. Number number three, what they say out their mouth, cussing, saying things, slipping up and saying that Jesus Christ is not God, slipping up and saying Jesus Christ is a lie, slipping up and saying that they don't believe in the Holy Spirit, slipping up. 
you don't slip up. Hey, glory to God. If you're a Christian, you won't slip up because the Bible say, what's in your heart gonna come to your mouth. The abundance of our heart, the mouth speaker. So Christian don't slip up. You don't even slip up, slip up and cuss. Hey, glory, hey, how about glory to God? Amen, amen. So, so what they say out of their mouth, what they say out of their mouth is what in their heart. You can say, oh, I slip. No, my friend, that's in your heart. Hey, amen. That's why the Bible says, not what to eat defile your 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 body but the word come out your mouth that what defiles you number four their doctrine or teaching from what you've been taught like kirk frank is saying jesus christ is a lie about being the only way td jakes agree with oprah of saying jesus christ is not the way amen glory to god but the bible say that that now i beseech you i urge you Brethren, mark them that cause division and offensive contrary to the doctrine which we have learned and avoid them. We ought to stop patronizing them. We ought to stop promoting them. We ought to stop buying their merchandise as their books, as their music. Amen. And stop sending them money to, to build their, their paganistic, amen, cathedral. Glory to God. Paganistic church. Amen. Avoid them. Stop Pitching eyes and they come to town, y'all run to see them because what? Because of their of their of their fierce speeches. And I'll get to that. Amen. Amen. So we see that the Bible say, avoid them. I didn't say that. Paul say, Amen, which caused division and offenses current to the doctrine. What doctrine? The teaching of Jesus, which he have learned and avoid them. That means stop promoting them. Stop buying their merchandise, stop buying their books. Stop buying their music. As I mentioned before, I'm, I'm done from Kirk Franklin. Carlton Person, I'm done from Carl Carlton Person because there's a heaven and there's a hell. Glory to God. And Jesus Christ did not lie. Did Jesus Christ say he's the truth? He's the truth, so help us God. Amen. He will stop singing and go back in the world and sing and sing pop music, sing sing rap music. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. So I'm telling you that's watching this, breaking news, avoid them. Amen. Avoid their teaching. Hey girl, avoid you sending money to them. Stop buying their books because they're not preaching the gospel. They're preaching garbage. Hey, glory. They're preaching things that they, they went to bed with because they eat too much and they had a dream about saying that another contrary to doctor. The Bible said, let them be a curse. Amen. Let the Bible say, let them be a curse. And that's our problem. We don't want to. We don't want to call spirit spirit. Amen. Glory to God. We we are ashamed. We are ashamed to stand up for the word of God. It's time for us to stand up against the word of God, because the word of God will make us free. That's why people are in bondage. Why are they in bondage? Because they don't want to stand up against those that they think that are the orator. Those that went to school and they had degrees in 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 uh, divinity. Anybody can have a degree. You can go to the website and get a degree. Glory, glory to God. Amen. So, so Paul, even though Paul was under Gamaliel, amen, Paul still have to, have to know and been taught by the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that's what's wrong in a society. We are not letting the Holy Spirit teach us. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We ought to let the Holy Ghost, because when the Holy Ghost teach you, he will lead you and guide you into all truth. That's the Bible. Amen. The Holy Ghost is your best, is your best teacher. Amen. Glory to God. He's your best teacher. We, we ought to let not the flesh teach us, but let the Spirit of God teach us. And, and, and the theme of this, 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 uh, this, this, this teaching is from uh, Galatians chapter, chapter 1, verse 7, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or angel from heaven preach another gospel unto you than which we have preached unto you, let them be a curse. As we said before, so I say again, if any man preach another gospel unto you than which he have received, let him be a curse. For do I not persuade man? I'm saying to you all that's watching me, do I persuade man? Amen. Or oh God? Or do I seek to please men? For if I please men, I shall not be a servant of Christ. I'm not pleasing man. I'm not pleasing women neither. I'm pleasing the one, the creator 
of the universe. Hey, and that's Jesus Christ. Amen. So, so, and, and, and number, num, number five now, I'm still, I'm still on the subject. Oh, glory to God. Breaking news. The Bible said, avoid them. Amen. Mark them which cause division and offensive contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them. For they are, listen, verse 18 now. For they that are such serve not the Lord Jesus Christ. They don't serve the Lord Jesus Christ. The only thing they serve is a mighty dollar. The, the, the Benjamin. Hey, glory to God. They, they, they serve the, the, the lustrous living. Amen. Come on. If your pastor is, is, is worthy of, 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 of his hired, yes. But I'm saying to you all that's watching this video, if your pastor is not living what he's preaching, amen, glory to God, we are the number one. We'll avoid them. Stop patronizing them. Stop promoting them. Stop ma them making merchandise of you because of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And number five. Never speak of salvation about heaven or hell, but only about the, the prosperity gospel. Look at my series, The Purpose of the Church. Hey, glory to God. The, they, they, don't, they don't mention heaven. And they know that they don't mention hell. So what do they mention? They, mes they mention only prosperity gospel. That's the only thing they are preaching to you, my friend. They are deceiving the simple-hearted. And they're preaching another gospel. They're preaching the prosperity gospel. I and I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. You're going to find your church that, that nourishing you with the word of God. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. Glory to God. Amen. That's the purpose of the gospel. Amen. So you can shun hell and go to heaven. And you to come down to the new heaven and the new earth. That's the purpose of the gospel. The purpose of the gospel is to save your filthy self. Glory to God. It's to make you stop cussing, stop clubbing, amen, stop drinking, stop whoring. Glory, a, 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 glory to God. Amen. Amen. But, but I will go on the other side and tell you that, that Jesus Christ loves you. And he loves you so much that he died for you. And when he died for you, he rose again. Buddha is not arisen. Confucius is not, a, is, is not here. Russell Lights are not here. The Mormons are not here. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. All those people that have died, they haven't came back. And tell you how wonderful heaven is and how terrible hell is. But Jesus Christ did. Luke, Luke 16, verse 19, 31. He talked about the story of the, of the rich man and Lazarus. But read that story, my friend. That, that story will make you, make you be afraid of hell. It make you shun hell and go to heaven. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. How do, the, how do, you, how do they suck us into the web of teaching? By the good word and fair speeches to, mis, to mislead us. To, a, to those that not reading the Bible, but believe everything they say. I must read again. But how do they suck us into their web of teaching? These false prophets and false pastors are web, are like spider. They have a web. And if you are not like the church of Berea, they study to, they study to see if the things were so. You know what I mean? You start believing everything that these pastors are teaching you. And you are deceived. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Amen. So, so Paul now say, Paul say, he did not come with excellency of speech. Hey, because it's not about words, my friend. Amen. It's about the demonstration of the power haba, of the Holy Ghost. That's the purpose of preaching. It's not about, if I want to hear a, 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 a good speech, I go to hear, uh, a, amen, uh, people that are great orators. But in the house of God, I don't come to hear a sermon about your experiences. I don't want to hear a sermon of what your father did and what your mother did. But I want to hear the word of God. Hey, glory to God. But Paul said, by the good word of their speeches to, to mislead us to those that do not read their Bible, but believe everything they say. But Paul said, he did not come with excellency of speech. Amen. In 1 Corinthians chapter Chapter 2, verse 4, he said, And my speech and my preaching were not with enticing word of man wisdom, but in demonstration of the power 
of God. That's the purpose of the gospel, my friend, is to preach the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey, glory to God. Hey, he said, I will do a power from on high. The power is the Holy Ghost. And that's why a lot of churches, they don't believe in the Holy Ghost. They don't believe the Trinity. They don't believe in Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hey, they just believe in just Jesus only. The Jesus only followers. Hey, glory to God. But is the Father, is the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. Amen. But the Holy Ghost come with power. If your pastor don't demonstrate the power of the Holy Ghost, he's just preaching in the flesh. Hey, glory to God. The Bible says, how can he preach except God send him? Hey, glory to God. Amen. So I'm telling you that avoid them. Avoid those, those, those songers that are singing and the preaching that's preaching. The preachers that's preaching. Hey, glory to God. Amen. Avoid them because they're preaching heresy. Amen. All of this old condemnation. And, and, and I said it before in the name of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to say it again. If a pastor is not preaching the 66 books of the Bible, you are not to go to that church no more. He preached in flesh. And the Bible said, I glorify not in flesh. There ain't no good thing that dwells in the flesh. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. But Paul said, my speech and my preaching were not the enticing word. There's a word that entices you, my, 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 my fellow Christian. And for the brother and heathen that's watching this, word does not it supposed to entice you, but but the word of God, that's why Jesus Christ said, My word is spirit and they are life. The Bible is spirit and they are life. It's not just any it's not just a, just a book you pick up and throw down and pick up and throw down. No, my friend, the Bible is to be read seven days a week, not just on Sunday. Some of y'all, y'all y'all just read your Bible just on Sunday. And some of y'all can't find your Bible because you 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 remember you where you put it last Sunday you went to church. The Bible ought to be your book. It's your roadmap to glory. The Bible, hey glory to God. This book right here is your roadmap to glory. It's your book of instruction. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. It's your book of instruction. And if you're not being instructed by the Word of God, you're destructing by every wind of doctrine. That's why Paul says, study to show thyself approved unto God. I work man or woman, need that, uh, uh, amen, but dividing the word of truth. Study, meditate. Y'all think meditate come from, from Hindu. No, meditate come from Jesus Christ. Meditate come from the scripture. Psalms 1 verse 1. Meditate in it day and night. Before you go to bed, you'll be reading the Bible. When you wake up, you ought to be reading the Bible. Hey, glory to God. While you're in your car, listen to a word of song, you'll be, you ought to be listening to the word of God. Amen. Glory to God. I'm telling you factual things that I practice with my life. Because if, if the Bible wasn't my book, I would, uh, because I, I would lose my mind. Amen. So, so I'm telling you that the Bible is a basic instruction before leaving earth and you got to read the bible not just on sunday only but every day of our life and and zechariah amen zechariah fourth verse six say is 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 by it's not by power but by might but by the spirit amen so he said that then he answered and said unto him saying this is the word of the lord unto zerubbabel saying not by power nor by might but by my spirit say the lord of hosts. So I'm saying to you that's watching this in my closing, avoid them that preach another gospel. Don't even patronize them. Don't even buy their book. Don't even send money to them overseas. A hey, glory to God. Amen. Amen. But avoid them. Breaking news. Avoid those people that, that preaching the vision. Amen. Glory to God. Mark them that cause the vision an offensive contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. It's not a new thing. This thing was not done in a corner. Amen. The holy man of God spake and it was moved by the Holy Ghost. Until next time, my friend, God bless you.